Lab materials include conditioner A, neutralizer 5A, and bond 200 adhesive in 200 catalyst C. Apply one drop of preparation conditioner. Sand wet using 600 grit sandpaper. Create clean surface with a paper towel. Apply one drop of preparation neutralizer. Gently wipe the surface with the recently applied neutralizer with a Q-tip. Clean surface using a paper towel starting from the middle and moving outward. Preparing your temporary glass surface. Apply neutralizer to the glass surface. Gently wipe the glass surface with the neutralizer with a Q-tip. Clean the surface using a paper towel. Strain gauge preparation. Remove the individual strain gauge from the packet. Use tweezers to remove the strain gauge from the corner. Position electrical terminals facing up. Use clear tape to secure the strain gauge to the glass surface. Using light pressure, secure tape on strain gauge. Peel back the clear tape to create a loop. Once the loop is created, the strain gauge should be centered on the tape. Lightly apply 200 Catalyst C bond to the gauge. Wait two minutes for the Catalyst C to dry. Apply M bond 200 agent to clean specimen surface. Remove tape loop. Apply gauge to surface containing M-Bond 200 agent. Lightly apply force to the taped gauge for two minutes. Carefully remove the tape. Strain gauge will remain attached to the surface. Soldering. Solder pads to the strain gauge's electrical contacts. Secure wires to specimen using tape. Position wires to soldered pads. Solder wires to gauge pads. Solder adjacent wire to gauge pad. Please note to not solder the two pads together. The strain gauge used in this application was an EA13120LZ120 with a 120 ohm resistance plus or minus 0.3, which can be verified after soldering as shown. Now you're ready to test.